He is CFRA's chief investment strategist and Bill Lee, Milken Institute's chief economist. Uh, these guys, I'll throw you anything here, but uh, Bill Lee, first off to you, what jumped out at you with uh, Powell? Because he did mention the tariff wars when asked and what he is starting to see. He called it a chorus of concern. Right, but the chorus of concern, he said, is just noise. He's not seeing any real effects on the economy, and I think that's really the key. The honesty and pragmatism of Chair Powell say, says... Uh, uh, hold on. Then I misheard. He said he's hearing news of he's disrupted news. supply chains and higher material costs. He did say we're not there yet when it comes to a ding to the confidence of businesses. Precisely. And that means that the real actions that they're going to take in anticipation of more tariffs isn't there yet. And I think what the markets are really seeing is that there's a new trade regime that the U.S. and China are going to be negotiating as soon as we can get them to the table. And I think that's where Chair Powell is being very pragmatic and saying there could be a lot of good things that come out of this and let's see what happens. Because he's taken away the word accommodative because he wants you to know we don't know where accommodative is. We're not that precise. Don't hold us to decimal points. That's the message of the new chair. And I think that's going to be the best thing the markets ever had because over precision is what the markets have traded against and where the markets have gone wrong. Sam Stovall, uh, this minor fall at the moment, down 122, but when you look at the swing, it's more than a 230 point swing. Uh, is this a buying opportunity today? Oh, I think it is. Uh, certainly, you know, as we're heading from a seasonal perspective into the fourth quarter, uh, the market traditionally rises more than 80 percent of the time, whether you're looking at a midterm election year, whether you're looking at uh, regular years, et cetera. Uh, and with third quarter earnings about to be uh, released, looking for growth of about 22 percent. And let's remember that we've just seen 26 consecutive quarters in which the actual earnings exceeded end of quarter estimates by an average of almost four percentage points. So I think investors are, are hoping to see this kind of outperformance once again. Yeah. So he is right. I think that the, in the short term, crypto prices are going to remain flat because the stock market is going to stay strong and healthy, especially with these global markets uh, getting wrecked. So the U.S. market, as long as it stays powerful, I do believe uh, crypto will not be an attractive asset class. But... In the Fed forecast, they are forecasting a slowdown, and we're not going to see continued 4% or even 3% growth. It's going to go back to what Obama was doing at 2%. And if this happens with higher interest rates, I do believe crypto will finally recover and start to move back. Um, but it's going to be a waiting game, and I do see some movement in crypto prices by the end of the year. And uh, hopefully, by next year, depending on what happens to the U.S. stock market and also if interest rates will continue to rise, uh, crypto will make a healthy recovery. But let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you soon.